All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I got a very interesting Phil Heath video vlog for you today. And we're going to do it on Phil Heath at the 2015 Mr. Olympia at the night show, where in my opinion, he definitely looked a little bit better at the night show than he did in prejudging. Now, this was a make or break year for the gift because in 2014, a year before the 2015 Mr. Olympia, Man, oh man, did he look absolutely horrendous in 2014. And how you could look so good a year before is just mind-blowing. Because a year before in 2013, Phil Heath was at his all-time best. That was the best Phil Heath version ever. He brought it to that Mr. Olympia stage. And other years were really good. But 2013 was just on a whole nother level. So how you can go from looking so good to the next year looking the worst you ever looked is just absolutely mind-blowing to me. But I digress. But he did redeem himself, though. I got to say, this 2015 performance is unbelievable. It is. He looked really good. The midsection was protruding a little bit, but he did look really good at the 2015 Mr. Olympia. His quads could have been a little more deeply cut, but other than that, the physique just flowed very well in 2015 compared to 2014. Then 2016 on, he just got worse and worse. I don't know how you could just blow yourself out within fucking, what, seven years? I mean, that's just crazy. But, like I said before, I digress. <laughs> but anyways, guys, look at how good Phil Heath looks at this 2015 Mr. Olympia. He's got that hard, dense muscle. Uh, like I said, the quads could have been a little more separated and a little more deeply cut. The back on point. His back looked ridiculous here. Look at his back. Look at the back shots. Crazy Christmas tree. Great, great rear double bicep. He always had a great rear lat spread. Look at the rear lat spread. Just phenomenal. From 2013 on, he had the best rear lat spread. And then the hams and glutes just topped the pose off. And he's got good calves because black people, I mean, I, I don't mean to sound prejudiced or anything like that, but black people don't have big calves. When you see black guys with big calves, that's very rare. But Phil Heath, he's got huge calves. And look at the midsection. He's got those deeply cut abs. And like I said, the waist and the midsection was a lot tighter, especially compared to 2014. That was his worst year. 2018, 2017, a lot of people like to say that was his worst years. But 2014 was definitely the worst Phil Heath performance I have ever seen. Kai Green got totally fucked in 2014. And you know what? I don't blame him for not coming back. Yeah, he should have maybe came back last year when Phil Heath wasn't competing. Or maybe he should come back this year, even if Phil Heath does compete. But he got royally fucked in 2014. And that's why Kai Green said the hell with the fucking Mr. Olympia contest. And that's why in 2016, Kai Green ended up doing the uh, Arnold Classic. He did three Arnold Classics. The Arnold Classic Columbus. The uh, Arnold Classic Brazil, I think it was. And the Arnold Classic Australia. And at the Arnold Classic Australia, which was his last show... Oh my God, did he look great. He just looked better and better as the Arnold Classics went on. The first Arnold Classic, he looked good. The second one, he looked good. And the third one, which was the Australia, he looked even better. But I digress. So guys, let me know what you think about this 2015 Mr. Olympia performance by the gift Phil Heath. And do you think that the 2015 performance is up there with 2011 to 2013. Guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage.